How's it guys? Back from Bali in Joburg, car driving past. We have come to a place called Pablo Escobar with Sav in her hometown. And later today, I think we might go catch some rabbits. Pablo Escobar. Ha, <laughs> clever. Sav has got herself an apple, cucumber, and mint juice. And I have gone for carrot, pineapple, orange, and ginger. Onion. Not onion. Onion is not a fruit. Sav has gone for some deep fried eggs, some bacon, some cream cheese and chives, some Kitka bread for toast. And I have Merv's English muffin, which is a mustard jalapeno mayo with fried egg, avocado, biltong dust, which is this stuff, a burravos and a fried egg, I think I said that already, and mozzarella. Ooh, baby. And that's what it looks like inside. Mm. I still have a half a mouthful of it in my mouth, in my back. Pablo Escobar in Melville. I'll give it a 9 out of 10. The food was really good, so the only reason I'm not giving it 10 out of 10 was because our waiter was quite new, so he was a little bit slow, because um, he'd only recently been recruited to the cartel by the Patron. Where to now, miss? We're going to Santon. We are going to Santon. All we're to in Joburg is go to the shops. Yeah, it's pretty much Joburg's uh, mine dumps and shopping malls, huh? Yeah. Find <laughs> up some shopping malls, golf courses, and golf courses, and thunderstorms. Oh, my favorite. They are good though. You know, Debra, I just don't think we're gonna get any ranch house tonight. I don't know, Jude. I think it just depends. Well, we really need the water, so it would be but nice. It's been a bit dry here in Joburg. Uh, I don't know. Uh, the eh? ball dam is very low. And my husband's four by four is breaking down. Oh no! I'll contact the little Uno through the rain. The Uno. You know, the Fiat Uno. It's just a little car, you know? Oh, everybody, just follow me, because we need a little controversy, because it feels so empty without me. I'm falling even more in love with you. So I'm in love with you. Still in it. Who sings this? This is Life, life House. Let's keep it that way. Oh. Oh. I said, stop the car. I got the sun in my pocket and the moon in my hands. We have come to Morningside Shopping Centre. That's not where it says Morningside Shopping Centre. It's somewhere there. Because we need to come to a place where Sav was doing some work and drop off some things. Access card or something like this. Okay, that is done. So I'm going to come get a coffee, I think. Might get a frosted latte. That looks nice. Oh, yes. I love these frosted coffee things because they're sweet. Cheers. Cheers. Down it, down. <laughs> Second shopping mall for the day, Santon City. This place is huge. I've been here once before. Yowza. Okay, we've come to a top shop and a top man. There is a big old sale 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 on. Wanna go check it out? Okay, one, two, three, break. Now we're in Zara, and apparently there's a men's section, but all I can find is women's clothes. Unless fashion has seriously changed. There is no men's section. What are you talking about? Through where? Apparently there's a big sale on. Huh, I wonder why they can't get rid of their stock. Weird. I mean everything here is so great. Like, I don't know why they'd have to have a sale. You find any nice stuff? A few things. A few things. It's quite cool. That is I cool. Might like an alpaca farmer. But, uh, <laughs> it's quite different with nice pair of Yeah, exactly. You sure this isn't uh, cultural appropriation? Did you find anything? Oh, I found some great stuff. If any of you like to show your private parts to strangers at the train station, come on down to Zara. They've got something just for you. If anybody owns a medium-sized monkey that needs to go to a fancy dinner, come on down to Zara. Oh, look at this guy. Gryffindor. I'm currently assuming the role of clothing Sherpa. We've come to H&M now and we've been here for about 10 minutes and I've lost Sav. Sav? 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 
Sav? No. Sav? Bondi. Oh. You want a pizza my time? Just home time now, what are you saying? Maybe, maybe a little nap for some of us. We're just watching some Too Ugly for Love, which funnily enough is how Sav and I met. Just about to sit down and export a vlog there, but the plan for later, if the weather holds up, is basically out here there's a rabbit infestation because someone let two rabbits out onto the course from one of these houses and well they pretty much did what rabbits do and reproduced a lot so and i'm gonna go see if we can catch one because i wouldn't mind catching a rabbit so i was just editing over there and there's this dog and it just killed a goose Oh shit, the goose is still alive. So the goose got up and walked away while the idiot whose dog it was basically just like ditched um, and is taking no responsibility for it. So we're gonna go and try to retrieve the goose, um, see if we can help it out, maybe take it to a vet because it's still very much alive. Hey! What are you gonna do? What do you mean, ya? Yeah? Where are you going, bro? You sp sorry? What, you spoke to the goose's parents or what? You gave it what? Do you have eyes on it, eh? It's alright. Yeah, I see, what a prick. Eh? Well, I caught him last week running the dog without his lead. Okay, we think these are them. Trying to coax it out with some some bread. Hey goose. goose. Bunny has come to say hi. Told you about the bunnies. Okay, well, besides the fact that the goose doesn't want to come out, the rabbit's also eating all the bread that we're setting as a trap to try and coax him out. But uh yeah. Okay, the new plan is that they normally get fed from the golf cart, so they're attracted to the okay. golf cart. Come on. So come we're gonna guys. move it where they can see it and try to lure them out. Road. Mom. Meanwhile, the asshole's just gone off, taken zero responsibility. Come on. Hey, come on, there you go. That one's okay. That one's fine now. Yeah. So it looks like the goose that was attacked has obviously got an injured leg and injured wing. Fortunately, there's not much we can do because he's going to stay in the water. I think it's the natural instinct because it's probably safer in the water. Um, but this poor little guy is not swimming too well. I'll see if I can get him flapping his wings open for you guys. Because he's doing that every now and again and his right wing is completely lame. Shame. Yeah, there we go. Just his left wing that's working. Fortunately, I don't think there's many predators on the course other than people with dogs that are off leads, but other than that, should be pretty safe overnight and um, one of the other members of the of the course says that we're going to hopefully get a vet down here tomorrow maybe they can catch him and uh, fix him up looks like he'll be all right though the thing that gets me is that he wasn't willing to take responsibility for what his dog did um like i mean i understand mistakes happen but yeah he really should have tried to help out the goose sooner he just left the dog alone and left the goose and just tried to run away Little bit. I want to know, have you ever seen a dandelion this big? Look at this thing. There's no tricks here. <gasps> but like, for real, look at the size of this thing. And I ain't got no trump hands, you know this. <laughs> You'd never go for a goose, would you? Very upset. Hey? Hey, Pearl? Maybe you would, Pearl. <laughs> hey, just relax, relax. No, no down, down. Alright guys, well that was quite a fun day, um, got a little bit intense towards the end there. Yeah, it happens, that's life, there's just some shit people. Anyway, besides that I hope you enjoyed the rest of the vlog. I'm actually going to head to bed um, because it is half past ten and I'm actually still a little bit jet lagged from flying back from Bali. So I've been waking up at like five in the morning and 
and then using that time to edit my vlogs actually and yeah so it's actually been quite nice but that doesn't mean that I get tired earlier so I'm gonna pop off and I will check you guys tomorrow I guess cool cheers